Welcome everybody to another 144 analytics video on how to use the Fibonacci retracements with the 144 rules and guidelines. In this one we just want to go over like how do you know the trend is changing if you haven't hit let's say big levels down below and or above and how do you monitor this. So with our rules and guidelines it's all about what retracements are in control and which ones can turn the market. So in the case of just this corn, uh, this last high up here was 38 back. We're not going to go back onto the chart because what's uh, up here in front is more important. But the point was the trend remained down because it could not get above a 38% retracement. That led the thing to go to new lows, which is what you would expect. Uh, when you hit a 23% or 38% retracement. So we have a low here that not, isn't necessarily uh, there. In fact, there isn't a retracement that's down here that you can use. So what you have to do is start watching the retracements that go back up. So in this case, we can see here, you know, just to this high that um, we went... 23% back that was all it could do but here it didn't make a new low which is is you know a sign of some strength but the next rally took it up to 38% here actually had a couple closes above it and this was also 23.6 back to the contract high which is back further um, so by getting back under it we would have been looking for new lows now in comes here that we take this retracement and we have 78.6 percent is where this whole market started and turned the whole dynamic of the corn market and we know just following the 144 rules and guidelines that 78.6 is where a lot of markets uh, bull markets start and end and that the first target on that is just 78.6 the other way, which we got here when we go take this low to here, and you can see in here it hits 78.6. Now the next setback comes in here. We have to retrace to here because it did not take this high out. And you can see the market held 61.8 so we're watching all the levels and we're just going to see what is reacting and are we seeing good things like a spike down here and close back up where we know we can risk this area same thing here with 61.8 comes down um, <clears throat> trades down below it never closes below it but the market um, just st starts to rally again so now we come back into here and we can see that the market's starting to really get traction, even though we know the 78 could have turned this whole market. We want to start to see the market in reverse start holding 38.2% retracements, or 23 for that matter, is a really strong market. So as you see here, this market came right in here, 38 back, and just exploded up to new high. Now, this is how strong the market is that normally you would retrace back to here for here but we're just going to use this low because this is all it could do as you can see market here all it could do is 23 percent back to this low not even the extreme and then that's where the market really exploded took out 38 percent turning the longer term trend positive and in here we saw that the shorter term trend turned positive when we started holding 38%. Now what we'll be watching here is then again all the way back down and one as long as we stay above this 38% we think we're going up here to 61 to start that's just the basic rules and the major GAN square up there. Uh, this trend right here will not change until 38% is taken out down here so this is the key level to look for longer term setbacks as to what you want to see and what you want to um, base um, 
you know, the trend on is the 38.2% retracement. Now, seeing this 78.6 here, we might just be seeing something right here in uh, the wheat happening. And you can see here the trend down 38%, just, just keeps getting pounded here on down. And now we're going to see uh, the last attempt almost got to 38 of this, still keeping the tre trend really negative. And just as we showed you what happened in uh, the corn, this could be, and we'll watch it, uh, the base of if no new low after coming off of a retracement like this. Uh, this could be, which would, uh, the end of the bear market. Uh, if it holds this 78.6, and the minimum would be to look for 78.6 back up to this 567 to start. And then longer term, since we already reacted to this 38 area, we'd be looking all the way up here around 525. So that's just yet to be determined here. We're here right now, so we'll see how this one plays out. Now, when you take a look at the beans, you can see once again, the trend is down and, and where does it turn, but right in here. So we get up to a 38% retracement and all it could do was go 38% back right here. This is when we knew the trend really was changing because the short-term trend changed right here. And all we could do was go 38% back. And then you have this, you know, big move considering what we've been doing. Um, with the new high, we're going to take this one back up here and retrace it once again. And as we told all our subscribers on both of these, these were the levels that needed to hold in here this 1019 held in a way it goes to new highs is what we would be looking for uh, right now we're still looking for this 38 up on top the 1095 area that's the long-term trend that's not going to turn the long-term trend positive until that can come out and right now we're just watching these retracements right in here uh, if it holds this 1045 that's an extremely strong uh, sign and it should quickly get up to the 1095. Uh, this current trend that we have going up isn't going to change just like we showed you in corn until 38.2 percent gets taken down out around 10, uh, 1027. So uh, all of these levels that we're trying to show you here are the way to follow the trend and know when something's changing uh, and that just whether it's going to be like a 78% retracement and the beans here, we had no reason for that low per se, uh, based on Fibonacci and or the GAN squares. But the first setback held 38.2. And that, you know, this, this is what we're trying to instill in all of our videos, how important this is. And if you just go through anything, any stock, any commodity, you're going to find that the trend will always hold those levels. So now I just one last thing I wanted to show you here is just where the um, the hogs, what they have done. And it's just so interesting that uh, we had other videos going back here, what how this market turned and everything. But if we just go and do the retracement from here, we can see that this monster rally just, you know, look at here. I mean, it just it was so strong that this first decent setback could only go 23 percent back and on to new highs. So and as we watch this, we look here and we do the new 38 and here it had one close below it. We're always fine with that. It's just and then the next day it's right back above it takes off. And here again, 78.6. We know that that can be the end of the bull move, and it can also be the start of bull moves on the other side. Uh, but in this case, a failure to make a new high at a 78.6% retracement, number one, we showed this in the corn, uh, that it can go 78.6 the other way. And that's exactly what it did here. Now, we're also playing here off of major GAN squares, which is always nice because we use that in our analysis, too, as to just back things up. And you can see where the markets played off of the GAN squares alone. 
but this one here, 78.6, went 78.6 the other way, and then just following the same rule, 144, 78.6 rule, 78.6 of where it just came from, we just hit that today. And that's another thing with the 78.6 retracement is it can get you into wide swings that go through the normal retracements, all the other ones, and just kind of rip through them but that's why you want to know what are you react what are you reacting from and what to expect when they hold and then what to expect when they don't hold so in if this thing fails from up in here our next target just based because it already held 38 percent would be the 61.8 area so th these all these rules and guidelines are just here to try and help you understand the flow of the market and to give you targets based on it when it holds. And, you know, most of these that we're showing and that are happening are very clean. I mean, it's there, it's not. It's, it's, it's you know, you will have times where it will sit around it. And especially if they're longer term retracements, they will hang around there. And, but even if they violate it by a few days and don't get any follow through, once they're back above it, the basic guideline still holds intact and that's the case if it was a 38 percent retracement it should then go for new highs or new lows depending on which way the market's moving so we hope this is helping you uh, understand just the flow of the market and uh, improving your trading and we hope that if you uh, trade the grains or the livestock that uh, you'd become a premium member. We give you all of these levels ahead of time. As we always say, ours is an educational platform. And what we want you to know is why we think what we think and give you the levels that um, what to look for and, you know, what changes all of that. So uh, we hope this is helping you. And again, if you uh, trade the grains, we'd love to see you become a premium member. Until our next video, good trading.